Fighting game bosses are always difficult, because they're meant to test your skills as a player. But what if I told you that Mortal Kombat 9 did the opposite? Shao Kahn may seem like a cheap boss, but he's actually programmed with specific limitations, because that way you actually stand a chance at beating him. However, by using mods, I can take control of Shao Kahn and show you just how overpowered he truly is. Because today, we're discussing the most broken character Netherrealm has ever made. Oh man, today's video is going to be so much fun. I get to show you all why Shao Kahn is the most broken character ever created by Netherrealm. But for starters, fun fact, Shao Kahn can't duck or jump, and that's universal for the boss characters. They can't jump, they can't duck. Their only movement options are walking or special moves. And then on top of that, Shao Kahn can't use meter on his special moves. He does not have any meter burn attacks, which means his meter is only good for x-ray. Which at first might seem like a weakness, if not for the fact that all of Shao Kahn's special moves are god godlike, with tons of damage and armor, all that crazy stuff. Or in other words, Shao Kahn doesn't need to use meter on his special moves, they're already way too good. And just for fun, here's his x-ray, pops forward, is completely unblockable, and yes, can even hit you out of the air if you're not careful. And look at the damage, look at that, that's like what, 70%? It says 52, that can't be right, that looks like 70%, let's do it again. Yeah, that's more than 52%, I don't care what the game says, Reptile is way past half dead, so the training mode is kind of buggy, but that makes sense, I am using a mod. The point is, his x-ray does crazy high damage and is also unblockable. How about throws though? Keep in mind, you can't throw the boss characters, but they can throw you. And look at the damage. Look at this, 19% for a throw, that is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, put simply, the boss characters do it better than you. And honestly, it's kind of crazy how many special moves that Shao Kahn has. You would think as a boss character, he would just have three or four, but no, the developers went next level and gave him like 10 special moves, that is awesome. First up, let's talk about shoulder charge, alright? This move seems broken, it's absolutely not when compared to his other special moves, but even so, it is annoying, and you're about to see why. The distance on this thing is quite crazy, and honestly, for most players, it's borderline unreactable, especially if done up close. Once again, there's no meter burn version, but honestly, Shao Kahn doesn't need it, because it's so fast, does so much damage, and leaves him close enough to go for more stuff when he hits you. It's essentially Sub-Zero slide, but with armor and more damage. But then we have the upward shoulder, and here is the first example of the developers nerfing Shao Kahn and having mercy on the players, because you might think this move's just an anti-air, and that's it. You're trying to avoid the shoulder charge, maybe even anticipate the hammer, so you jump forward only to be caught by this move. It's very frustrating. But did you know Shao Kahn recovers almost instantly from this move? Yeah, he recovers super fast, and to make things even worse, you keep getting launched extremely high. So when you combine those two factors together, you get an infinite. That's right, this special move loops into itself indefinitely until your character is dead. I bet you didn't know that, because even on the highest difficulty, Shao Kahn is not allowed to do this move more than once in the same combo. Just like the Elder Gods themselves, the developers said no and put limits on Shao Kahn. He is not allowed to loop this special move, but as a player, you can. And if you ask me, that's already broken enough. You're telling me he can loop one anti-air over and over again until you're dead? I thought that's where the madness was over. But boy was I wrong, because this next special move makes the upward shoulder look like nothing. Because next up, we're talking about hammer. Toss. This projectile is unblockable and travels the entire screen. At the casual level, it is extremely frustrating, and it's what most players hate about Shao Kahn when they first play the game. Most beginners love their block button, right? They don't want to have to duck or jump to avoid this special move, and that's why new players hate Hammer Toss in particular. It can be very annoying. However, none of that is why this special move is busted. When I'm done explaining this attack, you're going to realize why it's the most broken projectile that's ever been made in a Mortal Kombat game. Even though the game doesn't say it, this right here is a combo. The opponent does not recover in time to avoid the second hammer toss. They just have to deal with it. And if you don't believe me, I'm going to tell Reptile to jump. And notice how he jumps and then lands, and then jumps again. He's essentially holding up, so in theory, he should be able to jump away before the second hammer comes out. But no, he can't. That was a guaranteed combo. This is guaranteed. He can't do a thing about this, even when I'm at full screen. He has to eat all of this. And as you can see, the damage on this hammer is absolutely ridiculous. Almost 15% for every single hit, and the timing isn't even difficult. It's very easy to loop this thing. And in fact, for an easier example, I'm going to tell Reptile to block, and check this out. Once he's free from the hits done, he he can block. See that? Now he's blocking. That's when he's finally allowed to move. So now imagine the block is just anything else, like a special move or a jump, anything. I do the hammer toss, and then I do it again. Does he have time to block? 
No, he does not. The game does not give him a chance to block. It's not seen as a combo for whatever reason, but it absolutely is because the opponent has no way to avoid the next hammer toss. It's all guaranteed. And you might be thinking, yeah, that really sucks, but thankfully Mortal Kombat games have combo breakers, so as long as Reptile has two bars, he can break away from this infinite. No, no he can't. Because in this game, combo breaker does not work on projectiles. If Shang Tsung does a projectile combo, you're stuck until you fall down. If Katana does a fan combo, you're stuck until you fall down. You cannot use combo breaker on projectiles. And guess what? This hammer toss is absolutely treated as a projectile, which means Shao Kahn has a guaranteed uninterruptible infinite with just this special move alone. Even in a game like Mortal Kombat 9, that is insane, because even though every character in this game is broken in some way, none of them compare to Shao Kahn. No character has a guaranteed unblockable infinite that can't be escaped in any way whatsoever. This one projectile by itself might make Shao Kahn the most broken character that Netherrealm has ever made, but thankfully once again he's programmed never to do this. However, even so, the fact is Shao Kahn could be broken if a player used him, which is not true for any of the other bosses. They can't do stuff like this. Even in Mortal Kombat 11, if you take control of Sector, Cyrax, or even Kronika, they can't do anything close to this broken. Shao Kahn stands alone as the most broken boss. But honestly, there's still so many special moves to cover, so let's have some fun real quick. Here's down back four, launches the opponent into the air. Can I do anything after it? No, I really can't. So this special move is, oddly enough, kind of fair. Does some good damage, but nothing crazy, and I can't even combo after it, doesn't seem like. So yeah, that's a pretty fair special move, honestly. But next up, we have the hammer swing. This move hits overhead, and this does seem to launch the opponent for a follow-up. So that's really cool. I like that. Can I forward dash? If I can forward dash, then that's curtains for reptile. He's dead. I can. This is it. It's over. This leads to an infinite. Oh my gosh, overhead into infinite. That is crazy. Once again, the game won't let him do it, but Shao Kahn could do it if not restrained by the Elder Gods themselves, known as Netherrealm Studios. Then we have the Spear Toss. This move is nothing too crazy. It's a standard projectile. You can block it, you can duck under it up close, you can even jump under it from far away, and it also made a return in Mortal Kombat 11. Can I combo it after the Hammer Swing? I cannot. I'm kind of curious what it does to airborne opponents. Maybe twice. Yeah, it knocks him back at full screen, which is kind of annoying. In fact, can that confirm the hammer toss? I wonder. Nah, I can't guarantee it. That would be insane if it could, though. How cool would that be if it guaranteed the hammer toss? That would be crazy. I want to try one more time. I think I know the answer, but gotta make sure, you know? That was not high enough. Weird hitbox on that thing. Nah, it doesn't guarantee it, but if it did, that'd be crazy. That'd be so cool. So cheap, but so cool. And then finally, we have the taunts, which serve no purpose except to be annoying to your opponent. Unlike in Mortal Kombat 11, they don't give you a damage buff, they don't nerf the opponent's damage, they're just there to torment the player. And in Mortal Kombat 9, that's a good thing, because these taunts are the only time you get a guaranteed hit on Shao Kahn, because don't forget, almost every one of these special moves has armor, so even slow stuff like this is armored. Even this move can have armor, and as a result, the player needs needs these taunts to get a guaranteed opening on Shao Kahn, and thankfully you can combo him just like any other character. He's not cheap like Kronika, where you can't even combo him. Alright, we've covered every special move, and believe it or not, Shao Kahn doesn't have strings. Look at this. He has some unique attacks, some command normals, but outside of that he just has regular attacks. No strings whatsoever. So here's front punch, here's back punch, big knockdown, here's front kick, big medium overhead, okay. And then that's also an overhead. Okay, so he has two different kicks, but one is just stronger than the other kick. That's interesting. But then we have the command normal, so back one. Ooh, big launcher. Can I do this? I don't think I can. If I could, that would be it for Reptile. But I can't recover in time to dash forward. Can he special cancel it? No, he can't. So there's not really any reason to do this, except that, like, you know, it's more animations, I guess. That's forward one. You would think for sure that combo's into something. No, he can't special cancel any of these, I don't think. Wait, what? He has combos? The game did not list any combos. Am I stupid? Oh, he has one combo. Emperor Bash. Way down there. <laughs> okay. He has one combo. Can I special cancel it? 
I can't. It's just a little backhand. Just a double punch. That's it. He can't special cancel any of these so far. And then finally, he has a sweep. Just like every character in the game, he has a universal back four that hits low and knocks you on your face. Pretty cool stuff. Very normal, but pretty cool that he has it. And there you have it, everyone. The most broken character that Netherrealm has ever made. If put in the hands of a player, Shao Kahn is easily the most overpowered character in Mortal Kombat history. He can't jump, he can't duck, he only has one attack string and everything else looks pretty basic, but at the end of the day, his special moves are ridiculously strong, they lead to infinite and can touch of death you in a single combo. And worst of all, they loop into themselves. okay? There are other bosses in different fighting games who have touch of death combos, but at the very least, it's not the same special move over and over again until you're dead. But Shao Kahn is built different, okay? This man is extra dirty. He will kill you with the same move over and over again, because he just doesn't care. He's that savage. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below. It helps my channel out a ton. And then keep that combo going by subscribing and ringing that bell so you don't miss any future videos. Make sure to come back next time. And as always, stay underdogs.